What's going on, folks? This is Minister Shemaya Cochran coming at you again with another midweek motivation. That's right, a message to inspire youth and young adults to be productive in every single aspect of your life. But I'm not going to hold y'all long. Let's go ahead and let's get right into the message and let's get this thing going for today. All right, and uh, today we are going to be talking about the power of prayer. That's right, I said it, the power of prayer. And I think this is a very important message for youth and young adults uh, to tune into because prayer is very important. It is a vital part of being a Christian, but it is also a vital part of making sure that we are productive in every single aspect of our lives. And so uh, one of the things I love to do is uh, when we study uh, the context of the word of God or we look into the Bible, uh, there are uh, many times to where there are youth and young adults in the Bible that we can pull and use as an example for what it is we need to do and who it is we need to be uh, in our lives. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to be coming from Daniel chapter 6, and I'm going to be primarily coming from verse 10. So again, that's Daniel chapter 6. And again, my primary uh, subject or the verse that I'm going to be dealing with is going to be coming from verse 10. But the verses that precede it are extremely, extremely important. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are setting it up with Daniel um, and what's going on is that Daniel is being very, very successful. Now, the Bible actually says that Daniel actually had an excellent spirit. That means the boy was on point. He was that guy. And uh, as a result of him being, you know, on point and having an excellent spirit, Daniel is actually going to come into some haters because what happens is King Darius actually thought to set Daniel over his entire realm, which means Daniel was going to be running things at a very young age. And so as a result, he got a lot of haters, and uh, these haters wanted to make sure that they saw Daniel come down. They didn't like his, his come up. They didn't like Daniel doing well in life, so they sought to come against him. But what's very interesting is the way that they sought to come against him. Instead of attacking Daniel in a number of different areas, they targeted one area specifically, and that was actually Daniel's prayer life. Because they realized that the one thing that helped make Daniel successful was the fact that he was a young man who prayed, who had a connection with God. And it was because of that connection with God that he was able to be successful. So his haters realized, man, if we want to get to Daniel, we have to find a way to stop him from communicating with God. Because again, they found out or they knew that it was because there is power in prayer. And again, that's the subject, the power of prayer. So let's jump in uh, Daniel chapter six, verse 10. And notice what the Bible reads. It says, now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed or the decree that King Darius put into place that no one could pray uh, before the Lord. Notice what Daniel did. He went home and in his upper room with his windows open toward Jerusalem. This boy is bold. He want everybody to see what it is he's about to do. He knelt down on his knees and three times that day, and he prayed and gave thanks before his God. But notice this. Here is the key part I want y'all to get. As was his custom since his early days. Yes, you heard me. Daniel knew now I can be killed for praying, but I'm not scared. I have that connection with God. And because this has been my custom since my early days or since I was a child, I am not going to stop. And that's what I want to encourage some youth and young adults out there to be like Daniel and establish that custom of having a prayer life, making sure that I communicate with God every single day. Yes, you heard me every single day. That's what I'm challenging you to do, to always be in constant communication with God. And for those of you out there who are thinking, man, this is hard. This is going to be difficult. No, 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 no. It's not as difficult as you think. Actually, when we stop and think about all the people that we communicate with on a daily basis, why aren't we communicating with God on a daily basis? Some of us, you talk to your mom, you talk to your pops, you might talk to your boo thing, you might, <laughs> you might even talk to a pet or an animal that you may have every single day, but yet you will find yourself skipping that time to actually talk to God, and that's not right. That's something that we need to change, and again, we need to be like Daniel and make this a custom from our early days now when we think about uh the word custom um i'm gonna give you two basic words that are pretty much synonymous uh with the word custom uh, and i want you to think about a custom as being a habit or a routine 
Again, that's a habit or a routine. So Daniel had a habit of praying and communicating with God every day, but it was also his routine to pray and communicate with God every single day. And here's why that's so important. Because when we think about a habit and a routine, if you can really get a habit down or get something in your routine, it's hard to throw you off of that. If you don't believe me, let's think naturally speaking. There are a couple things that I do every single morning when I wake up. Number one, like most of you, I have got to go to the bathroom. It's the first thing that I do. When as soon as I wake up, I got to use the bathroom. Second, you know, I'm going to brush my teeth after I wash my hands. <laughs> but, you know, I got to brush my teeth. And then some of us, you might not do this next one, but you definitely need to. And that's putting on deodorant. You know, that's the next thing that I do. I have a habit. I have a routine. And although we may laugh from a natural aspect, let's consider that also from a spiritual aspect. Because, because here's why it's so important. Because naturally speaking, if I miss any one of the three things that I just mentioned in my morning routine, I know that I missed it. If I don't use the bathroom, if I don't brush my teeth, if I don't put on deodorant, I am going to know at some point in that day something is wrong because I have missed a very, very, very important piece of my morning routine. But why don't we feel that way when it comes to communicating with God? See, some of us, we don't value that, so we don't make it a part of our routine. It's not a part of our custom to communicate with him on a daily basis. But I, again, want to encourage you to make that a key part. Because how much better would our lives be if the same way I felt about forgetting to put on deodorant, I felt the exact same way about not speaking to God or not communicating with God that morning? Man, how much more uh, could I get accomplished during the day? How much better would my life be if I did view it that way. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Because again, there are benefits to prayer and we need to pray as youth and young adults. Uh, one of the reasons we need to pray is because we don't always know who we're chosen to pray for. If we're being completely honest, you know, we don't always know what trial God is going to send our way that we need to conquer today. So we need to make sure as youth and young adults, we are conquering our prayer life. We're setting aside that time to chop it up with God one on one. And I know some people try to make prayer seem like it's deep and it's hard to do, but it's not. It's simple. Prayer is simply just communication with God. So the same way I might chop it up with my friend, the same way, you know, I, I speak to loved ones and family members. I can talk to God the exact same way. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you this. I can talk to God and even be more comfortable talking to him than I would an actual person. Because, again, I know he's there for me. He understands even when other people don't understand. So that's what makes it easy to talk to him. And I want to encourage a youth and a young adult out there that if you would simply make prayer a key part of your everyday routine, a key custom for you as a young person, blessings are going to follow. They are going to chase you down and your life is going to be better and you are going to see bigger yeah. manifests. So again, I'm Minister Shamar Cochran, and I want to encourage you as a youth and young adult to make sure that you are conquering your prayer life. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you go out and you conquer the world. And if you don't think you can, remember, you were chosen for this. For the world we win, for the city to the field we win. We heard it from the bed we win. For the north to the south we win. From the east to the west we win. From the city to the field we win. We win. He heard it from the bed because we win. you were shown.